for a bike to reverse into. Let's see if I can uh, still drive. <laughs> Easier unless steer, you know, want to come a little closer to the Lexus on the left as you pass. Probably keep your eye on the it's always a punto. If it's a punto, keep your eye on the punto a bit more as you can approach. Okay. It's less snaking around then us and less things to go wrong, I reckon, if you're not snaking, you're not steering as much. Yeah. I think I went wider because it just gave me an easier angle for it. Yeah, okay. Uh, turn right at the end. Turn right, Jack. Could you take the immediate left, Oakley Avenue? Yeah. Always a tricky one coming in here. The yeah. dentist there, so there's lots of parking here. Yeah, it's all the cars. So then I'll stay in first gear. Jack, could you pull up on the right uh, between the black and the white? <laughs> You're not doing too bad, really. They are quite sharp when you've driven other cars. Okay, so um, just to reverse back two car lengths now. For those watching, in case you're wondering why you would, on earth, you would reverse back two car lengths, why would we reverse back two car lengths in this situation? Does it make any sense? It's just in case something parks in front of you, it would help you, like we've already discussed, to gain a better view down the road, wouldn't it? Yep. So. I'm on this, don't you? You wait if there's a car, don't you? Because you are yeah. moving hazards. They are, and for all we know, they could park behind us. We now signal anything. Was that the first time you checked your shoulder, Jack? The right one, would you say? Um, I looked over before we, before we started moving. Because you was asking me the question, I went quite switched on to it. That's why I was asking. So I might have missed it, and uh, just want to be honest with you, really. Cheers, Jack. It's not a parking exercise. Okay, cheers for that. Drive on when you're ready. Uh, when we get to the end, we'll turn right at the crossroads. Any snippets of advice you'd offer for that one, Jack? Uh, especially when you're pulling out, check more than once. Yeah. Um, especially if there was a junction there, if you didn't see it when we pulled up, mm -hmm. you turn right in. Please. Got stuff there. decision Jack. It would have felt it just felt a bit naughty didn't it trying to go. Yeah. Yeah I think it was the right thing to do. Because nobody had priority did they there? Not really because normally there wasn't any cars on her side she would have priority. Yeah but there was everywhere weren't there both sides. Yeah. Take a left at the end please. I saw this way. I just let her go and make it an easier situation for both of us. So sitting over is he gonna go? Exactly, exactly. I agree.
catch what the bend was like on it. Yeah, it was quite. It was quite sharp. But it was a long sharp. If that makes sense. I mean, yeah. I'd describe it as like a right angle, but almost like a, a, a straight corner. Yeah. The bends are so slight. It's an awkward because you can't really take your time going wide. No, you can't because you've got the right turn box there, haven't you? Yeah. So you sort of, you got pit some decent lock on, but then car will just automatically take that line over the curb. What would you do differently to combat it next time? Just to make sure that that back tyre just doesn't go off of that. It was lowered anyway, so it didn't really matter. Well, it could have done if somebody's toes was there, waiting to cross. Yeah. So what would you do next time differently? Just make sure now as I have a guide in my right hand, turn box, and sort of go in that a tiny bit. Yeah, if nobody's coming, it's not an issue, is it? Or Broken lines. Yeah. Could do. There's no real position in there anyway, because you're not going to get one at the side of you turning right while you turn left on that one, are you? Not really. What I would do is do what you did, but not put as much left steer on as early. Come out straighter, put a touch longer, so more of the car clears the corner, and then whack on the left lock. Yeah. That way you'll, you'll still not go into the box in front of you, the right turn box, not hit the tyres on the kerb on the left. That's, that's the that's the one really with holes, but I think half of it is spotting it. No, not half it. It's spotting it on approach. Think, oh yeah, one of these again. Don't want to run somebody's feet off. Okay. What's the trouble with that that silver car driving so close to that bus? What's going to happen? What can you predict, Jack? So the bus is going to stop. He's either going to go straight to the back of it, okay. or he's going to have to. Is he going to be able to see to overtake? No. I say he might even have to reverse and just sit there. Yeah. So now he can't see a thing ahead, but you can see. He's had to pull out though, isn't he? It's like pulling out into the unknown sometimes, depending on the way, which way the road bends ahead as well. Yeah. And I'm lucky for them there, bent to the left. Bent to the right, it's not as bad, is it? You still kind of see. At the roundabout, Jack, turn right, third exit. No, it's got to be the driver. 
has to be the driver. Now, we've got to be careful here. We're in the lorries, or could be in the lorries, blind spot. Awkward, isn't it? Because that was speeding. You was kind of eased off. They speed up. They sped up because they can see. Yeah. Them, but instead of 50 here. It is. So what are you going to do now? Where is it?
let's have a look. That's it. Down, isn't it? Down it. It's going to the bush. I think we're reasonable there, looking at the back, and, and that's what we're looking for, that you were going to have a look at over your left shoulder, yeah. just to, just to, because there's nothing really that gives that true image light. Exactly, just pick up a leaf. Exactly. Um, so we don't mind if we get a leaf, do we? No. As, long as, the, as long as the branch is not too sharp, that's all there. Yeah. yeah. So, um, just to, so that, that's all fine, really, there. Very happy with that, shoulder checking time and all that lot. And yeah, I th and I think, going forward, you know, that, that represents like a real-life park, doesn't it, that, what we've just done. It isn't a, a square, usual car park. You sort of had to move the car about to get the angle. Um, what did you do then, in terms of getting into this bay? Because you didn't use the method. I wouldn't have wanted you to, really. I mean, it I mean, wouldn't have worked. No, if I would have, yeah, because normally if you use the method, you normally go yeah. a long turn, then in. Whereas this one, I sort of came in, I went, right, I'm picking this spot, I sort of lined my car up and sort of just almost backed it in. Did you keep your eye on the line in the, in yeah, the was, door? Yeah. And so as long as you can always see it in that mirror and where the back end is in, re in relation to, yeah. is that what you were doing? Just. Yeah. I think also, like, when I looked over my shoulder to say, right, that's the line I'm aim aiming for, for my back right wheel. Yes. When you look in the mirror, it's a completely different concept. Yeah. So you sort of have to go right. That's that line. Yeah. And sort of as you get nearer, you go, okay, yeah, I'm on, I'm on line. Yeah. Yeah. With the mirror that confirms it, sort of thing. Yeah. So you're looking over your shoulder in the first, aren't you? Yeah. Is you're what sort you mean? Of, yeah. You're comparing where the line is compared to where the line is in the mirror. Mhm. Mm it's good stuff that. And again, just to confirm, like, I mean, just to c kind of go over that a little bit more. When I did go to Cardington again, this was talked about, and and I, can't, I kind of knew anyway, because I read it up, read up in the DT1, which is the driving test guidance notes for examiners, driving examiners. Uh, though for any of those watching, you can anybody can download a copy off the Gov website. But it, it says you know as long as the tyres direction, there is no dead set way of you know you can do it at an angle and come back. You can just sort of, and I think that's the the way I'm going to go with my, a lot of my training now going forward is try and try and make everything a little bit more. Yeah, and, yeah. I don't think I was terribly, terribly bad at that before, but I think there's always room to improve. And I think just, just going on that day out to Cardington and reflecting on that. Mm. Um, yeah, because the first instinct I saw when I came in, I went, right, it's not a square car park, and we have to use my common sense here. And I saw this went right, pick that spot, line my car up, and I almost, just, as I said, just backed it in. Mm. Thing is, if we hadn't, I mean. I would guess you've done quite a bit of this anyway because you've been out and about in your own car. Yeah, I haven't actually done too much haven't you? like parking but being out driving about. And normally when I park I just pull in forward. Um, mm. but yeah. I, I reckon I could do it. So What I'm thinking is if that was if that was your first time, you might have felt just a little bit nervous about doing it. Yeah. You know, because you've not got your reference points. Yeah. Where they're good and they serve a purpose. Yeah. But um, you can't just rely on them, can you? No. Because I remember the thing, obviously, the Bay Park and the little corner that you told me in the mirror, that's where it sort of sits on top of a curb. Mm. But when I look back, we're almost in the bush. So I went, right, ignore, ignore that, watch that. Because the bush sticks over the curb on this occasion, doesn't it? Yeah. 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 And again, that highlights why you need to always be looking around and not just in one place, because you get a different, like you said, different perspectives from different places. Yeah. Good stuff, Jack. <laughs> All right, Jack. When you're ready, then follow signs for the exit, and we'll turn left. Oh no, we'll turn right. Actually, just just thinking about where we're going to do yeah. the emergency stop. You all right with all that emergency stop? Yeah.
roundabout will turn left. So of course I will give you the signal when I want you to stop. And I'll decide that it's safe before I do by checking my mirror. I just want you to stop. Light went off before. So promptly and under control. Yeah. And to secure the car once you've stopped, yeah. And then I'll I'll ask you to move off. Don't do anything until I give the signal, okay, and, and the instruction. Okay. Can't quite see any. Not the junction. I don't. I can't 
unless it's got a plate on it. Mm. They were having those conversations, didn't it? Yeah. I don't think they were though. <coughs> you got any Survirax at yours? I don't. You got any Survirax? Do you know what that is? No. Some stuff that you put, you know, when you feel like you got a cold sore coming up. catch it before it starts and you know, to get the first tingle. <laughs> I've just felt it. <laughs> Do you get cold sores? then check and signal. They, they check as they're moving, they signal as they're going. Yeah. <laughs> Makes no sense. Uh, Jack, at the roundabout, could you turn right, third exit? Yes. 
when you've done that, we're going to turn right at the second set of lights in the new road. Second set of lights. Second. Yeah. Is that the first? At the traffic. Yeah. So not at the pedestrian crossings, at the traffic lights. Okay. okay. Second set once you're off the roundabout. Okay. Just look down the road, you'll see. It's actually the third exit on the roundabout. Before we move, is there anything coming down that middle? Yeah. God, I love it when a plan comes together. Honestly, when I said that, I didn't know it was coming. Turning right, don't you? Anyway, so you, you can't, you're going to be in the right place, aren't you? Over here, the right side. You got it? Yeah. So even though you couldn't see, it still done off. You still kind of kept, yeah. kept it easy for yourself by staying positioned. top of the line, wouldn't you? So unless you can clear that line. Sometimes I've noticed that they come on, sometimes they don't. Yeah. So once it once the green, sometimes we go straight back to red. Yeah. On different ones. Um, I think that's usually though, if you're turning left actually come to think about it. You know when you've you know, you got the L shape in front of you. Oh, yeah. Sometimes that can come on, sometimes it doesn't.
so sometimes just your use of speed coming into the road, you, you know, from that initial check, which is, is well, it wasn't the mirror check, wasn't it? You saw it coming, are you? When you look right. Yeah. Uh, I saw him. Yeah. Uh, I think he sort of just going around, just sort of sped up, and then he went on the brake and turned left. Yeah, he did, yeah. First instance, though, I didn't know he was going to do that, did you? So just maybe consider acting a bit earlier sometimes, or if it's worth acting. Because you remember at our, and they may be bright, aren't they? I was on the bus. Yeah, I don't really know why you need your lights on in the day. Just in case anybody watching this is confused, they're also known as headlights. Main beams are headlights, and that's why the, the driving normal driving lights we use are dipped headlights. You're already aware of that, aren't you? Yeah. Wasn't bright, though. Yeah. So is everything going as you hoped it would so far? It's got better than I thought, actually. Good. And has the areas and routes that we've done um, been challenging in terms of finding out? Yeah, it's been a that? few little things I've had to use my brains. So in t there's a reason I'll give you that instruction, it's because they're quite close together. Yeah. So what do you think I'm trying to inspire you to do once you've turned left here, or as you're turning left? Plan what we're going to do. Yeah. So I've, I've driven up here a few times, so you need to get over a lane as well. That's maybe. it. Because the left is left only. Yeah. So you want to be in the middle, or the right. I'd go for the middle on. Yeah. Because it ends up as the left. Diamond would open. Fans been going crazy on this car since this weather. Imagine. Absolutely crazy. I don't know any other cars doing it though. Only Peugeot's. <laughs> progress use the right because you can use both yeah. to encourage that is you know as long as you know where you're going and you, you've got time to be in the right place etc and the next roundabout will go second exit So when you enter the roundabout, if that's left only, what lane are you going to be in once you're on the roundabout? As you're about to pass, well, the first exit. Sorry to say that again. What lane will this become when you're on the roundabout? Uh, the left lane. Yeah. So it's going to spiral, isn't it? It's going to move you across. Because the left just disappears into that road. Yeah. That's it.
give up after Iceland, you know, when they lost to Iceland that time. It's just ridiculous. And I just, I never, I just never really watched, watched it since. As much as I want England to win, me and my mum reckon an, an underdog will just come along and take it. Well, they do, I mean, do you remember when Greece won, won the, uh, it's the yeah. European Championship, wasn't it? Yeah. Was it year 2000? I'm sure it was Greece. Um, I don't know. I'll, I'll watch World Cup, I don't know. Directions back from here, Jack. Um, right. I think I'm alright actually. Just let me know in good time if you're not. Okay. Okay. Yeah, because we go down up there. Yep. Then we do a left at the lights down there. That's it. Or we can even then we can either go through Michelover or down the 838. Mm. What do you reckon we should do? 838 or Michelover? I do too. It's quicker as well. Yeah. Practice getting your foot down. Yeah. <laughs> Tower on this one, do you think? Looking at that light in front of you, it's got, they've got three circles or four. So either they can turn left, I can go right. I reckon the silver one run a red light, do you? That was close. Straight to the left, Jack. Right, so, okay, so I just want to pick up on that because, you know, when you were well, on about turn left and we said, oh, why do you think you wanted to, I said, why do you wouldn't think I'm talking to you about this? Because you needed to position, right? If you're the first car coming in, claim your spot, no matter where it is on the road. It's just early positioning because it should never be a lane change after. If it is, it's too late. Quite a wide space there as well, isn't it? Three lanes. So straight in on the left, job done. No messing. That's perfectly fine for you to do that. Is there any reason why you wasn't already or...?
there with that spiral roundabout in the lanes. Yeah, I'm getting 